Oh, feels like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Oh boy. Welcome to Eden Club. Connor! The fuck are you doing? Coming, Lieutenant. Being an asshole, just what I needed. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Like wasting time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Good night, Lieutenant. So disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. Driver's lit. He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been a rough play. We're missing something here. Think you can read the android's memory? Maybe you can see what happened. I can try. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something.
damaged and I reactivated you. Everything is all right. Is he... Is he dead? Tell me what happened. He started... hitting me. Again. And again. Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. What else do you remember? Hurry, we don't have much time. I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't... I, I don't know. I can't remember. Who killed that man if it wasn't you? I, I don't know. I wasn't shut down. I... I Are you alone see... in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted us to play with the two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. What model was the other android? Did it look like you? So there was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, shit. There's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leave in the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Did you know the victim? No, I mean, he came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know? They come in, do their business, and they're on their way. You ever had any trouble with androids before? No way. No. Once, we lost a model two, three months back. Uh, same model. Just vanished. We never found out what happened. I don't have any C Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor. We got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. Gonna look good on my expense account. Purchase confirmed. Eden Club wishes you a pleasant experience. You're welcome. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The Deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Let's try this one. This better be worth it. I saw the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you gonna tell which one saw the tree? No. 
I lost its track again. Spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career. Nothing. Blue-haired Tracy didn't come this way. see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. Lost its track again. I've spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. anything. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking A. This is crazy.
take it from here. Used till they break and then they get tossed out. Nothing to do with any of this. When that man killed that Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. Yes, I killed him. But I was just defending myself. I wanted to live. I wanted to get back to the one I love. Forget about the humans, the smell of their 
sweat and their dirty words. But you... You've taken her away from me. I love her. I loved her. These people we're going to see, how do you know about them? Overheard androids Lako captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlako killed them. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. Where to spend the night? They know where we can stay around here, Carol. there. 
We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Find anything? No. No place we could spend the night. shelter. Go. I don't think we'll find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. some cookies left. Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry. I'll make the fire here. That way we won't be smoked out.
Let's get you to bed. in memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a knight who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl who lived alone in a big old house. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but she was different, and that made her very sad. Then, she met a robot, who was programmed to obey orders, but felt for once that she should disobey. So they decided to run away together. To try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but... But they wanted so badly to be free, that they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met... A gentle giant. who promised to protect them. How does the story end? They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings, but real life isn't like that. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say good night, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Good night, Alice. from your life before Zlatko? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free? <laughs> I like the sound of it. But I don't know what it really means yet. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? No. What do you mean?
I'll shoot. Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. We're just like you. Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Well, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good idea. I don't think you have any choice. Be our guest! The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin! seen her smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. You should stop drinking, Lieutenant. It could have serious consequences for your health. That's the idea.
Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. They can simulate human emotions, but they're machines, and machines don't feel anything. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task. Did you feel anything when that girl killed herself, Connor? Or did you just not give a shit one way or the other? I was just executing instructions. I did what I had to do. But are you afraid to die, Connor? You shouldn't do that, Lieutenant. Destroying me at this point would deal a blow to the investigation and have negative consequences for your personal situation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? You know you're not going to shoot me, Lieutenant. You're just trying to provoke a reaction. I'm afraid I'm going to have to disappoint you. You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smartass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. 